Hi, my name's James Dable, rider number 17, riding for BT UK and John Lee Motorcycles. Yeah, so I ride a Beta 300 trials bike, two-stroke, and also a Beta 300 RR Enduro bike, which is also two-stroke. I've been riding motorcycles since I was three years old. Um, I competed in trials since I was six, well, 28 years at that. Um, and also I rode uh, professionally for 17 years as a trials rider. Um, just retired at the end of uh, 2020 and now just uh, riding enduro and trials for a bit of fun. And the things that mean the most to me um, would probably be, I think first of all, my 2005 Junior World Championship. Felt like that was quite a big step in my career at the time. Um, and then the year after I won the 2006 European Championship. And, you know, there's been select events that I've enjoyed and, you know, enjoyed the results more than anything. But um, I would say uh, probably winning the Scottish was one of my proudest moments, such a prestigious event. I would say last one would probably be uh, second position at the uh, British Grand Prix at Tom. Uh, that was a pretty nice achievement as well. So my first season riding Enduro um, has been a steep learning curve. I'm sure the curve will continue into my second year, but I've enjoyed it, um, learning a, a new kind of genre of motorcycle riding. Obviously with trials, we're not used to the speed side of things, so getting made around that a little bit. Don't really struggle too much with the technical side. Um, but yeah, like I say, I've, I've really enjoyed it. It's been a steep learning curve and looking forward to learning more. So for 2022, um, I'm obviously looking to carry on with the British Extreme Championship. Um, I'm not so much interested in going abroad at the moment, so I just want to kind of dip my feet in the water in the UK, try to do some British sprints, uh, some BECs as well. I enjoyed doing a couple of them last year. Uh, but then with the trial side, you know, I'll be going to Scotland again uh, for the six days in the Scott trial. And, you know, I still feel I'm at a good enough level in trials to be able to try and win them. So, you know, in terms of trials, I'll be aiming to, to go to Scotland, have fun with it, but try to win. Um, and with the Enduro, just keep progressing. Uh, the events I'm looking forward to competing in this year, definitely looking forward to getting back to Scotland. Uh, we've unfortunately missed that for two years uh, due to everything going on in the world. But uh, So yeah, that's that's top of my list of events that I'm looking forward to. And then just, in, in, well, hopefully enjoy and look forward to getting back into enduro racing. Um, I've really enjoyed like the sprint layout. I enjoy the, the way that they run them and also looking to try and get back to Hafren and Natajak and have a good go at some BECs along with the extremes as well. I chose Hard Enduro because I think it's obviously a natural progression for a trials rider to, you know, dip his feet in the water with another sport. Um, but to be honest, I enjoy probably more the traditional Enduro and the sprint sides of it because it's something completely different to what I've done all my life. Um, so I enjoy trying to you know, get quicker and things like that, rather than the trial and technical side of things. Favourite place to ride, um, trials-wise, I used to love riding at Hawkstone Park. Um, I think just because it was so different to anywhere else we'd, we'd ridden over the years. Uh, World Championship, I used to love riding in Andorra, even though it didn't treat me so well on results, but I used to love the place. Uh, and Enduro, so far, I'd say, Hafren has been my, my favourite enduro so far and probably one of the nicest places to ride. So I originally became sponsored by Pico um, through Dylan. Um, I, at the time I was using former boots, which they're the, the importers for in the UK. Um, so we had a little bit of a, a tie in there and that progressed on to speaking with Dylan about um, supplying me with helmets and gloves and then obviously that's naturally progressed into the enduro side of things as well. So my favourite product to date that a Pico do um, and distribute uh, would probably be my Liat uh, motocross enduro helmet. Uh, for the main reason being I've had a couple of big offs this year learning and landed on my head and it, it saved me quite, quite a few times. So I think 
one of the, well, the standout memory for me in my trials career, away from results and things like that, which would be quite obvious, was uh, when I became a number one factory rider for Beta in 2011. Something I'd always dreamed of as a kid to become a factory rider, uh, but then to become a number one factory rider were, were pretty special. Uh, so team dibs on to Raj at events is always uh, mum and dad. They've been there throughout my career. Uh, without them, I'd be lost, um, like most people. And uh, now and again, uh, Emma, my wife, and my three kids turn up as well. Now we're at Chianada, um to come and watch. Boys absolutely love watching, so whenever they can turn out, they can. Um, and yeah, just, you know, friends, that you see at races around, you know, they'll come and try and help out if they can. And, but yeah, apart from that, we keep it quite small and close. Uh, Jack Lee turns up sometimes to give me a few words of encouragement and try and kick me up the ass a little bit. But yeah, uh, quite small, but definitely worth taking them winner. So I think my favourite training uh, rider, I think in the past would probably be Doug. Um, Doug and Matt and even Jim in the early days, they used to help me out a lot. We used to practice together quite a bit, took me to Spain, took me down to Cahors and things like that. So uh, riding with them were always good fun. You always learnt a lot. Uh, recent days uh, with the Enduro side, um, I ride a lot with Jack Spencer and Jack Price, a couple of good friends. Uh, we always go out, have fun, um, keep it safe, but try and push each other a little bit and probably Steve Holcomb, but it's uh, it's always tricky to ride with Steve because he's so busy, but I always enjoy it, enjoy it when I do. Uh, so the reason why I ride and probably still ride is, is the main reason why I started in the first place and that were um, because I just enjoy it that much. Um, it's so important to keep it fun. Um, as long as it's fun, I'll carry on doing it. Um, and you know that's kind of the one of re one of the main reasons why I stopped riding professionally. Um, I felt like the fun had gone out of it a little bit, and I needed to get that back. Um, so for me, the main reason is fun. Disappointed? No, like porn or bar only fans <laughs> questions. <laughs> Have you got an OnlyFans account? <laughs> we'll have to sign up and see.